Hello everyone, boys and girls. In this video, I will show you how to relax Shivan Shwagarwal in After Effects. All project files are linked in the description. Consider subscribing if you like these kind of tutorial videos. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. So first, create a new comb. Width 920, height 1080, duration 10 seconds. Let me import some images and video. Add this cloud video in timeline. Increase scale size and adjust position. I'm going to change this into 3D by adding this 3D cube icon right here. Using type tool, let me add some test. I'll add it to center. Go to some presets and add gradient ramp. Change star color to white and in color to navy blue. Also, add the drop shadow from effects and presets. Increase softness amount. Pre comb this test layer by right click pre comb. Check move all attributes into the new composition. Double click on pre comb. Select this rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Press M on keyboard to open mask and check inverted. Increase mask further. Let's go to Effects of Presets, Animation Presets, Test, Animate In, Add this slider by character. Go back to Main Comb, make it 3D. Next, let me add this building image. Place it below the number comb. Hide this building image. Create a new null layer by right click new null layer. Also add a new camera by right click new camera. Make the null layer 3D and place it on top. Select this big detail from camera and add this to null layer. Over position from null layer and set keyframe. Increase the position Z value to make it so. Go a few frames forward and place it on top. Now what I'm going to do is, place this building image down. Increase the cloud video scale size. Adjust the null position to top. Now let me add a new null object, place it on top, add this big detail from bottom null layer to this new null layer, make it 3D, open position and set keyframe over here. Go a few frames forward, adjust the position Z value like this. Also, let me increase the scale size of the building. So why I create a new null object is that we get a continuous motion. Now you will get this type of zoom in animation. Next, let me add this character image, place it below the camera, make it 3D, adjust position and scale. Select all keyframes from null layers and ease ease. Next, I'm going to add another character image and place it below the building image. Select 
set keyframe for position and place it down. Go few frames over and position on top. Easy is all keyframes. Next, I'm going to add a new null layer. Make it 3D. Add the big detail from null 2 layer to null 3 layer. Set keyframe for position. Go few frames over and position on top. Easy is all keyframes. Next, let me add a building image below the scatter image. Make it 3D. Add this position and scale. Go to FSR presets and add tint to this building image. Set the keyframe for position and place it down. Go few frames forward and position up like this. Easy is both keyframes. Open graph editor and adjust the speed graph like this. Next, let me add this image below this character image. Make it 3D. Set keyframe for position and place it down. Go a few frames over and adjust the position like this. Easy is both keyframes and adjust the graph for the job. Select the pen tool and don't select any layer. Create a shape like this. Hold shift to make the line straight. Make sure the stroke is on. Increase stroke width in here. Now I'm going to add some lines. Select all shape layers. Right click pre comb. Make it 3D. Now double click on pre comb shape layer. Adjust each lines manually. Go back to main comb, go to face on presets and add deep glow. This is a third party plugin, I will put a link in the description, you can download from there. Or you can use the inbuilt glow effect. Check, require for test, exposure to 0 0.30. Now go back to lines comb, under shape layer, add set a trim paths. Under trim paths, set keyframe for end, change to 0. Go a few frames over and end to 100.
Do the same for all the other shape layers. Add trim paths and set keyframe for end. Change to zero. Go few frames over and end 100. Go back to main comb. Now let me add a new null object. Add this baby tail from null 3 layer to null 4 layer. Make it 3D. Set keyframe for position. And go keyframe over and push to the left. Now I'm going to add another image in here. Also, I'm going to add this pillar image in here. I'm going to adjust the scale and position of this pillar image. I will adjust the position of this background image in here. Finally, I'm going to add this character image. Change one view to two view. Select this character image, and as you can see, this is where the image is located. Adjust the exposition to the left. Let me add another null layer. Add this big tail from null 4 layer to null 5 layer. Make it 3D. Add this position. Go a few frames forward and add the C position. So now you will get this type of zoom in animation. Add motion blur to all layers by selecting the circle.
As for the final adjustments, I will open pushing keyframes of all null layers and adjust the speed graph like this. Also, I will add the tint to the scatter image. I want to add a wiggle effect. So go to the stop null layer, open position, hold alt key or option key and select this position keyframe. Add expression, wiggle open bracket, 2,3, close bracket. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos and check out these two videos on how to like Magnus Media and I will see you on my next video.